Today I'm going to make almond biscotti. Biscotti means twice baked, so this takes a little time. It's not a lot of preparation, it's about 15 minutes supposedly, um, but it does cook and then you have to slice it and bake it again. So it takes a little bit of time. Make sure you have some time on your hands to do it. Uh, the ingredients, I'm doubling this recipe, so four cups of all-purpose flour, uh, two cups of white sugar, and a teaspoon of baking powder. Sorry, that's two teaspoons because I'm doubling the recipe. And a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Those are the dry ingredients and you just mix those together and, and then you just set it aside. I know some people don't like the metal bowl but it's the right size and I'll try to be sensitive uh, to the sound. So you mix that together and then you just set it aside for a minute. And then you take uh, six large eggs and two, a quarter cup really, four tablespoons of rum. And I like to use the rum that's uh, sort of spiced rum, uh, spiced with vanilla. Uh, then we take uh, four tablespoons of vanilla. Pour that in. Okay, so now we'll just whisk that up. Probably should have had a little bit bigger bowl. Now you can also use uh, amaretto if you like that. I don't put it in. Uh, it also says that another uh, optional ingredient is anise extract. I don't have it and it doesn't sound great to me <laughs> for putting in this. So made this a number of times without either one of those and I probably will continue to do that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna Dump that wet mixture in with the dry mixture. Combine all that together. And this dough is extremely sticky because of all the eggs. do most of the work in the bowl so that uh, keep all the sort of sticky mess in the bowl. Get it combined as best you can. And then add in a quarter cup, or sorry, a half cup of toasted almonds. About uh, six or seven minutes at 350 uh, degrees in the oven will toast your almonds up nice. I got mine a little dark. I left them in just a little bit too long. I put in a half a cup. It calls for a little bit more. It says to take whole almonds and chop them up, but not too fine. 
But I find that the slivered almonds are just about the right size. So. Some recipes actually say don't use slivered almonds. Okay, now, as you can see, that's really sticky. Kind of hard to maneuver. So now we're just going to dump that onto um, parchment lined cookie sheet. You see how sticky that is. Now when you make this, you kind of make it into a loaf, which is easier said than done. It doesn't have to look exactly like a loaf. It should be about an inch and a half high. So you gotta spread it out a little bit. Get another spoon in there. Like I said, you shape it into a bit of a loaf. Remembering that uh, it doesn't have to look great or anything because this is going to be sliced, but uh, remember that the uh, shape that you make is going to actually be the cross section of the biscotti when you cut them after it's baked the first time. So try to try to make it not too wide and uh, Otherwise, you're going to end up with really long biscotti. It's not bad. And look, if you think this is too sticky, whatever you do, don't add flour. It's supposed to be very, very sticky. I just put a little flour on my finger hoping I could get some of that stickiness off, but as you can see, really sticky. So that goes into a 300 degree oven, which is not uh, real hot for baking things. And it goes in there for, well, let's see, about 50 minutes. So uh, check it after. 45 minutes and uh, see what it looks like. It should be golden brown on top and uh, we'll be back when that happens. Hey, uh, it's uh, beeping now, so it's been the full 50 minutes. So we'll take it. I had a look. It looks like it's about right. And we'll just uh, slide it out of the pan. That's the beauty of the parchment paper. And that needs to less, uh, sorry, rest for uh, 10 minutes before we slice it. So we'll be back in 10 minutes to slice it up. All right, so that has baked in the oven uh, for its first bake. And uh, now we have to slice it into cookies or, as the Europeans say, biscuits. So you just slice it like bread. Now you can see when I said to make the loaf, not to make it too high and not to make it too wide, this is actually... Uh, a little too high, but mostly it's too wide. So I'm going to end up with some really big biscotti. We let it set for 10 minutes so that it would be easy to cut. You want to have a serrated knife. And really, you just cut it like bread. So you just slice it like a loaf of bread. Fairly thick slices, depending on how you like your biscotti. Of course, this stuff is really good dipped in espresso or coffee, but uh, Nan and I really like it dipped in white wine. Oh, you can dip it in red wine too. 
but it's really good dipped in wine because it gets pretty crunchy after you bake it the second time. Inside. Tell by the knife. And as you can tell, it's really easy to make biscotti. So now you just take the slices and you just lay them out in a cookie sheet again. See how big these are? They, they should be about half as long. But anyway, that's I'll end up just cutting these in half once the uh, once they're cooked. Very easy to make, very delicious to eat. So that goes back into the oven for 20 more minutes, still at 300 degrees. And after 20 minutes, you uh, turn them, flip them over, and they bake for 20 more minutes at 30 degrees, and then they're ready. Uh, this little piece here, though, I'm just going to try it right now, make sure it's good. Mmm, quite delicious. You should be careful of those because check them after the first 20 minutes. You don't want them to end up too crunchy. So if they're getting dark, maybe don't leave them in for the second 20 minutes the whole time. Okay, it's a little less than uh, 20 minutes on each side, probably 18, uh, but they look good there now, so I'll take them out. You don't want to make them too crispy, that's for sure, because then they're, uh, you need to really soften them up in the wine or the coffee. That's what they should look like right there. So now we have to uh, just put them out on racks and let them cool and make sure they're really uh, totally cooled down before you store them and you can uh, store them in uh, any kind of a container. Uh, they really freeze well so you can actually keep them for uh, probably six months frozen. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this and uh, Try some almond biscotti, really good.